Following the spring drizzle, the woodland of Shang Jiaji begins to buzz with activity. Birds and animals are arriving to pick the most suitable spots to set up their homes. The Batagong Shan Nature Reserve boasts the best preserved and largest broad-leaved evergreen forest in subtropical regions. The vast primary forest contains roughly 100,000 cubic meters of trees. There are more than 400,000 trees over 800 years old. The intact forest ecosystem serves as an excellent habitat for animals. The red and white giant flying squirrel, also known as the flying fox, is a species of rodent. Measuring 35 to 60 centimeters in length, it weighs about two kilograms, with a tail nearly matching the length of its body. It can nimbly turn around while gliding through the air. The flying squirrel is a wary animal. They often poke their hairy heads out of the tree hole to look around. They have exceptionally large pupils, which give them a wider field of view and allow them to easily detect lurking predators. As the flying squirrel spends most of its life in the tree hole, it is desirable for it to locate a robust and sturdy plant. Such an ideal abode is the top priority. This flying squirrel checks its surroundings, trying to find a new tree hole for another home and thereby reduce the risk of unwanted attention. This is a skill necessary for its survival. Its eyes fall on an ancient tree, which is old but apparently strong, with the robust roots reaching deep into the soil to suck up every bit of nutrients available. The thick trunk can offer a spacious and comfortable room not to mention the luxuriant foliage, which would be a self-renewing natural larder. Ancient trees like this are widely found in the tens of thousands of hectares of forests and mountains here in Shang Jiaji. The mother has just settled in with a four-month-old baby in tow. The flying squirrel is a nocturnal animal. Only before sunrise and after sundown would the young follow its mother on brief hunting forays. Fruits, seeds, shoots, budding leaves, and insects are their favorite food. Obviously, food is not lacking around here. There's even enough for them to squander a bit. But today, the young flying squirrel faces a bigger challenge. It has to learn its namesake skill, gliding. The flying squirrel has a thin membrane on either side of its body, extending from the foreleg to hind leg. This special anatomy allows them to parachute down from the treetop. This is the young one's first gliding exercise. It seems to get cold feet. Surely, a slip means a fall to its death. But in order to gain easier access to food and outrun its predators, it must learn how to glide. It tries to seek help from mom, but immediately realizes no assistance is forthcoming. Could this attempt be successful? Well, not as good as expected. The young one refuses to give up and again clambers up the trunk of a tree. Now it has plucked up enough courage. It's no picnic to survive in the forest. Each species has to learn and evolve constantly struggling to cope when new challenges arrive. 